Lenny Marcus, when you look at this a little bit from the outside, uh, do you see a system that worked the way it was planned to work? Well, thank you, Bob. For those people who are watching this across the country and around the world, there are many lessons to learn from Boston, especially for those of you who work in areas of preparedness and response. Uh, buses around our community have on their destination sign, Boston Strong. And in many ways, our colleagues have demonstrated here a standard that we hope will be replicated if, God forbid, this should happen in other communities. So your job is building Chicago Strong or building Houston Strong or building Arizona Strong so that what we've seen here and the saving of lives that we've seen here can be replicated in other communities. And we've had the pleasure of working with our colleagues over the years, and there have been a number of things that have, that have brought us to this day. One of them is there was a tremendous investment in training. So as people described, and as we've heard many stories here in Boston, when the bombs went off, um, people on the streets, uh, first responders, the hospitals, uh, law enforcement, everyone knew what to do, and they were trained and they were ready to work together. We have an expression here uh, called meta-leadership, and that's leaders truly working together. And in your preparing and in your championing this kind of leadership, it's really about your it. You have that responsibility, and when the moment comes, you have to be able to engage your system so that the kind of saving lives that we've seen here can be replicated in your community. Another thing that we've seen here, there's been a lot of talk about resilience. And there was resilience in this community from the first moment. What, what do you mean by that, Lenny, if I might ask? Well, there were people who were in shock in, that, uh, in those first moments when the bombs first went off. And people describe, witnesses describe, a moment of just being in a freeze. And they instantly got out of that freeze. They ran to the scene. They were resilient. They helped in saving lives. And today, in Boston, where those explosions occurred, people are already walking the sidewalks. Businesses are back in play. The community has been resilient. Nine days after the event, the sidewalks have been repaired. The community has come back to life. And so, again, a Boston standard. We've talked about what resilience means. We've seen resilience in the first moments. We've seen resilience of survivors. Um, over this period, and we're seeing resilience in a community that really demonstrates what strong is all about.